The value of the dollar is at a 20-year high here in the U.S., but what does that mean for investors and businesses overseas? We are joined this morning by founder and CEO of Noble Gold Investments, Colin Plume. Colin, welcome back to the, live, uh, to the National Desk. Thank you. Good morning. We have talked before about the dollar being at a record high and how that affects us here in the U.S., but how does it affect U.S. customers and companies overseas? Well, companies like Microsoft, for instance, uh, first quarter was down uh, over 300 million in sales. Uh, most uh, large corporations, anywhere from 25 to 30 percent of their sales are going to be overseas. So, those goods have have become much more expensive than ever. Um, so it's it's not great for a U.S. corporation. Um, for a U.S. consumer or someone that wants to travel to uh, to Europe, this is probably your best chance. On a lighter note, uh, if you can get away and, and go anywhere overseas in London, Italy, it's literally the the, the lowest price of anything that you ever had. The dollar is stronger there, so uh, we've seen the dollar compared to the euro and the pound, you know, one and a half to two to one, and and right now the dollar is stronger. So. Uh, if you can get out of the country and go over there, it's a good time to uh, to do some overseas travel. Now let's talk a minute here about the stock market. We have seen a little bit of improvement here in recent weeks, but we're still down significantly year to date. The Nasdaq, I was looking here, off by around 17 percent compared to January, but better than the 30 percent it was down in June. Do you see markets continuing to improve as we move forward? And really, what needs to happen to get us out of the hole that we're in? I think it's going to stay about the same. And, and the reason I believe that is you have all these negative effects. Obviously, you know, jobless claims just came out. So that's going up. Unfortunately, um, you have this Inflation Reduction Act, which has some some buyback provisions for companies. Obviously, that's something that's always made the stock market very stable. When companies have excess cash, they're buying their own companies. And then you just have the overall drag of real estate. Uh, and what's happening there. And those things don't move quickly. So I don't anticipate uh, anything to correct, probably till second or third quarter of next year. And I don't expect it to to have a big boom. I just, I think maybe we get back to par of where we were a year or two ago. Um, but I don't, I don't think we're gonna see the stock market being very strong uh, for probably a year and a half to two years from now. That's going to be a process, it sounds like. I want to shift to your specialty this morning. You hear all the time that gold is a safe investment, but it has slipped as the dollar has become stronger. Gold is right in your wheelhouse. So what do you expect to see in both the short and long term? Should people be buying on the dip? If you already own, are you worried? Well, I think what it is is that a lot of people look at gold as, as a safe haven investment, and, and it, it always has been. This is the first time in over 20 years we've we've raised interest rates this dramatically. We did it for a little bit in 2008, and what we saw in 2008 was gold pull back for about a year, year and a half. And then once they stopped raising interest rates and they started pumping money again, quantitative easing, gold and silver went through record highs over 20 percent per year so my guess is that you know we are lowering raising interest rates right now we're trying to slow things down but i think by next year they're going to try to 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 push this economy they're going to start pumping money again and so when the dollar's strong gold has pulled back but then on on the other side the pendulum is is once the dollar gets weak again we start printing money Gold should be great. So gold right now under eighteen hundred dollars. Silver in the 19, high nineteen twenty dollar range. Uh, for those two big precious metals, uh, I, I think it's a great buying opportunity for people that haven't bought and and for anyone that bought, you know, that gold when it broke two thousand. If they want a dollar cost average, and get some gold right now, I think they're going to see it really take off. And and I expect gold to be at twenty three twenty four hundred. Uh, in the next 18 to 24 months. Ride the wave, as they say. Colin Plume with Noble Gold Investments, thanks so much for joining us here on the National Desk. Thank you. Your Money, sponsored by Noble Gold.